We declare that Baal is not God of this nation. Amen. Jehovah is God of this nation. Amen. And we are going to add that we have declared war against homosexuality. Amen. And if they bring it up as a ruling on Friday, yes. that it is legal, yes. that church shall not rest. Amen. That church shall not yes. rest. Yes. That church shall not rest. Yes. 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 If you put your signature, yes. legitimizing uh, this sodomizing story yes. and things of Sodom and Gomorrah, yes. we will speak a curse upon you yes. because we can curse you. Yes. Yes. We will speak it yes. and we will shut you down yes. and you shall never be a judge on this land. Yes. Do not abuse yes. the authority you have been given. Yes. Do not assume that because we are Christians yes. and we have been quiet, we are taking it for lightly. Yes. We will be fasting and praying through this week. Yes. And if there is a ruling that allows for what is it called? Homosexuality yes. to be made legal, you will not know peace. Yes. You will know our name. God. Yes. You will not know peace. Yes. Our God is El Gibor. Yes. Our God is a mighty man of God. Yes. Our God answered by fire. Yes. Do not assume that the church is asleep. Yes. That church is awake. Yes. And we are together and we are united. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. Come on and give him praise. Woo! Praise you. Praise you. May the spirit of the Lord come down. Amen. May the spirit of the Lord come down. assembly just like oh Lord Jehovah God the people of Nineveh did father we call this a solemn gathering father yes Lord. and we are here to repent oh King of glory yes. your word says in Proverbs chapter 6 oh Lord Jehovah God that you hate and it's an abomination to you when we shed the innocent blood oh God father we repent as a people of Kenya and we return to you oh Lord Jehovah God Father, we are encouraged by your word, O oh God, that was spoken by Jonathan, that God is able to save with many, and God is able to save with few. So, Father, we gather in this place, knowing that all of heaven surrounds us. All of heaven backs us up this day. Father, in heaven, let it be recorded in your book yes, that on this 18th day of May, 2019, Kenya gathered together to repent and to ask for forgiveness for abortion, Father. Father, we repent also, King of glory, 
that there would be a situation where the High Court is meeting to discuss whether homosexuality is legal or not. Father, we repent for the beating.
is for life. Innocent babies don't have to be killed. And abortion hurts women. Adoption, not abortion. We have sent so clear messages today in Nairobi. And we really thank you for braving the rain, for walking with us. Nobody has gone home. We are all here today. So, we are going to keep that resilience that we have witnessed today. We are not going to give up. We are going even to double our effort in fighting for the unborn, in fighting for the defenseless, and in standing with the women who have been hurt by abortion and in offering, in offering other options. Counseling, adoption, if you increase pregnancies, there are rescue centers, there are kiotas. There are so many options other than an abortion. So we continue fighting and we are going to be encouraged. We have God on our side and we have the law on our side. We have the right on our side. So we, we, are, we are not stopping. We are, this is just starting. This is just beginning. And today we have sent a clear message. We are not stopping. It is just the beginning. So I'm going to invite Gerard here to take us forth. And thank you really so much. God bless you all. We're just going to read a scripture uh, to explain what our brother is just about to do. In Nehemiah chapter 3, the Bible takes an entire chapter to honor those who have rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem. And we are going to attempt to do that, but knowing very well that our reward is in heaven, and we are going to attempt to name organizations that are here today, and then we also want to ask all the pastors, all the members of the clergy who are here, and the leaders of KCPF, if you can come and just join us at the front. I also saw Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Rose, represent an organization. If all the members of the clergy could come up here, please. Of course, Bishop is a member of the clergy, absolutely, yes. All the members of the clergy, would you come and just do us the privilege of coming here? This is the altar. We have raised up this at the altar, yes. Members of the clergy, Kujeni. Okay. Oh, I'm being told they might not fit here. Okay. So we will fill up here. If we fill up, we get excited and we clap. Amen? It means that we are filled up, then we will we will fill up down here. Okay. Then, you want them to come down? It's okay. Yeah, they can just. Yeah. But uh, I'll ask Reverend Chaluda to join us because he's going to be doing the closing prayer. Okay? Oh, you're here. Okay, amen. So I just want the members of the clergy to just say hi to us and just quickly to state which house they're representing so that even the, the people who fellowship there may know that they are well represented. Amen? Amen? And then we're going to appreciate them because of the courage and for standing out and for doing what God has called us to do. The Bible says that righteousness and justice are the foundations of God's throne. Amen. We are fast and we are praying now we come out. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. Church Christians, I wanted to ask, do you know who you are? Yes. yes. Do you know who you are? Yes. Okay. Because of that, I had requested just one song, be kilometers. But today again, it was a calm, very gentle walk, but with a message. And that message was to destroy the walls. Yes. That message was given by you and ourselves to the people. And I'm sure next time when we meet, and I hope, God willing, again, we'll meet not only this number, but we'll feel the Uru Park. Yes. We can walk gently, and the nation will feel the gentleness of Christians. Yes. But the gentleness of Christians is a virtue. We must walk with courage and confidence and be able to send the message. And I was happy when you stood around where Marie Stokes have been stopping for a long time and we send the message that they have to stop and I'm sure today they will stop. Yeah. And if they don't stop, we'll keep on. We will not stop telling them to stop. Yeah. We will continue, we'll continue. And we'll use our all our strategies and our avenues to convince them and to make them know that we are not happy, that we want to send the message that God is in this country and lives with us, and he wants us to promote life. Why are we building schools? 
sure. Why are we building parliaments? Even the True. Senate is a new. Yeah. Why are we building all these story buildings? Why are we securing environment? Not for who? For children, for big. So here, I want the organizers today, and from bringing me to join you, and uh, it was not a short notice at all, because it came to my ears and I said, this is my pet subject. People like Dr. Pahom and Gare, we work together, even uh, Anne Kiyoko, they are my colleagues, and I've joined with the uh, Che Chenule. Deliverance Church is and I represent the whole of Deliverance Churches in Kenya on behalf of my Bishop Mark Karioki, who is also pro-life, and the rest of the brethren who are not here today. I just want to say one thing, madam. You know, I am child number eight out of 11 children. Wow. Do not like people like me, because according to them, I am a chance baby. And they don't want children by chance. They want children by, cho by choice. I was not a choice baby. I was a God's baby and I'm still God's baby. Amen. I'm protect babies all the time. Amen. Thank you so, so very much. May the Lord bless you, so, so church, bishop. I've never sat close to you. Today we walked long distance. It's a privilege. <laughs> and uh, I want to celebrate our sister. I normally refer to her as our lioness our ambassador. We love you and we're praying for you. And I thank people, people who are here today. Also have not come. Kenya is pro-life. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, we are here to celebrate life, the life that you gave us. And we are here to mourn for those who have lost their babies because of deception. But here we are saying no more killings of the young ones. We are standing for our children and our grandchildren and our relatives. And we are declaring, declaring in the center, the city of Nairobi, that Kenya is for life. Kenya is for the living, not for the dead. And that those who are promoting death and are emergence of death, we are declaring their de de demise and their abolition. In the name of Jesus, you will close your offices in the city of Nairobi and the nations of Africa. Because Jesus is Lord, not only here, but everywhere. Amen. This is Uhuru Park, Amen. where we have our freedom, yes. even from enslavement, by powers of darkness and the blood that is being shed against the will of God. We pray for peace in our nation and our young children and the land. We thank you for those who came and those who are praying for us at home. May your will be done. We thank you for this and go across the world. For the work it is doing for the kingdom of God and the churches of Jesus Christ that are standing for the truth. May your will be done. Thank you for your grace and your wisdom upon our pastors and our leaders. And these church members who have come, thank you for hearing our prayer. For we are prayed by faith in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, really, uh, I, wa I want to. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. 
I need to ask whether there is anyone who would like to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior and their Lord. If you are here today and you are not born again, you don't understand why we would come out like this even in the rain. We do it because of Jesus and because he died so that we would live. So nobody should die when Jesus died so that we could live. If you are here and you are not born again and you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and your Lord, please lift up your hand and we will pray with you. Kama ungetaka kupokea Yesu kama mwokozi wa roho yako, haujawahi pokea Yesu kama mwokozi wa roho yako. Wakati huu tungetaka kuomba na wewe, unaweza kuinua mkono wako popote ulipo na tutaomba na wewe. Kuna mtu yote? Ungetaka kumpokea Yesu kama mwokozi wa roho yako. Oh, kuna mtoto hapa, karibu karibu njo, let's appreciate this soul. Amen. You know this young man came and said I would like to join the church, eh? So we had to give this altar call announcement and he's back again saying he wants to receive uh, Jesus Christ as Lord. Is there anybody else? You know you're not right with God. You know with the things that are happening, you need to know that Jesus is coming back soon for his bride. He's coming back soon. We were told, remember in the book of, I think it's, uh, Ma Ma uh, is it Acts chapter 1? They are told that this, this same Savior you're looking at, he shall come back the same way. Eh? It says, men of Galilee, this man that you're looking at ascending, he shall return the same, same way. So Jesus is coming back for his church. Wickedness has increased. And when you see wickedness increasing, it's a fulfillment of prophecy. And Jesus is coming back for those who know him. Those who are born again. Those who are walking in holiness and in righteousness before him. If you don't know him, you'll be left behind. And the beast will be released. And when the beast is released, who is the Antichrist, then you will really suffer for seven years. Being forced, sasa tulikuwa tunasema huduma namba is the mark of the beast. It is not. You takuwa inawekwa hapa na kwa mkono. Na ikiwekwa, hayezi kutolewa. And it's going to happen. You might be marching the streets with us, but you don't know Jesus as your Savior and your Lord. As we are looking to heaven. Mungu baba. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Nina tubu dhambi zangu. Nina tubu dhambi zangu. Na kuomba hivi sasa. Na kuomba hivi sasa. Unisamehe. Nioshe katika damu ya Yesu Kristo. Yesu Kristo na kukaribisha maisha ni muangu. Uwe mkombozi wangu, mfalme, mwokozi wa roho yangu. Na kushukuru mungu baba kwa mba leo Nimeokoka Sante Kwa kuniletea injili Amen Hallelujah The Bible says That the angels in heaven rejoice When one comes to Jesus And today Not only are the babies saved But then let me tell you what the Lord said You know I'm a prophet That's one of the gift things God has given me And as I was looking around The Lord led me to look at a lady and she looked terrified and God told me she was heading to Afia Center to have an abortion but she has changed her mind and it shall be confirmed it shall be confirmed remember I got online last week and I told you that in my spirit I sense the Lord saying that Sonko is not asking for billboards to be pulled down and just this week he confirmed it because the spirit of God is not a liar but then we have a street ministry Every Thursday we meet street children and we eat with them and we rejoice in the Lord with them. We do. We don't shout about it because we're not supposed to talk about the things we do. But that's why I don't take him lightly. Even if he's with his bottle, I know he has gotten saved. Because I've seen what God is doing in the streets. And God is changing them. The other day you might have seen a video of a Kesha. And a young boy led us in Kegosho. He had been on the streets 
But as we fellowship together, God began to change him, began to transform him, and reunited him with his family. Right now he's in Gedongori with his family. He has gone back home. That is the work of the church. These are the things we are doing in the pulpit. We need to get serious and go back to the people. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I think we are done, beloved. Thank you so much for coming. We are so thankful. We want to invite Bishop to just bless us. Uh, he's the oldest member of the clergy, as far as I believe. He's our eldest member of the clergy. And we just want to invite him to just say a blessing over us and to release us, even as we thank God. We also bless the Lord for how he's using this issue to unite the church. This is how revival will come. We are one church. We are one church. You know, Bishop, I must confess. You know, I left the Catholic church in the 90s. But today, I was talking with Bishop and I could feel the Holy Spirit moving. And he was unleashing scripture after scripture. Nikasema kweli, he revival imekuja kwa Catholic Church. Sa ile protestants wana la 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 hapa tukibihiva zo revival is ours, isn't it? I'm telling you there is an awakening. He was using a scripture the Lord was telling me this week. We must come to the light. He kept saying it. We must come to the light. We cannot run away for the, from the light. He was quoting scriptures the Lord has been speaking to me in the book of John this week. And I bless the Lord. I was just, I'm just feeling so privileged also. He's a man we've seen in the media. He doesn't have this maringo. Maringo of his so senior. And we bless God because also the members of the clergy who came today. I'm standing next to Reverend Chengula. I'm like, eh, okay. Tumefika uko kwa kutembea now. Kina Dr. Wahome Ngare, you know? You're like, ah, yeah. City Calvary Temple. I bless the Lord. You know NPC? You're like, eh, this Jesus. Let me tell you, the shepherds have returned completely. In fact, let me not say they've returned. The true shepherds are being relieved, revealed. The true shepherds are being revealed. It's not a return. The Lord is finally moving all this chafu. Somebody told me not to say chaff. The Bible says chaff. He's removing the chafu. And they have court battles and all these dramas. And all of a sudden, the Lord is revealing the truth. The truth. Because Jesus is returning soon. And Jesus does not want his sheep to be confused. So let's just stand up in honor of the man of God. Uh, Reverend uh, uh, Bishop uh, Alfred Rotich. A man we have seen, and I think for me today I can testify, having just walked with him, his humility. I have to keep reminding myself, hey, pastor, can you chill? Eh? You know, the humility. He wouldn't even get, he was holding for us the umbrella. And that is the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we, as the clergy, lead by example. Amen? Amen. God bless you for coming. Asante Nisana. Please note that just like in Nehemiah chapter 3, your names have been written as the rebuilders of the walls of this nation. It is recorded on earth and in heaven. Amen. As you go forward, declare it and remind the Lord. Just like Cornelius says, works came before the Lord. This work will come before the Lord as a memorial. God bless you so much. I'll not be speaking again after Bishop Asante Nisana. You all know Revelation chapter 3, 20. But the Lord is knocking at the door. He's knocking at the door. And if you open the door, then he will come in and share with you the meal. We have opened the door together today. And we want to allow the Lord to come and share with us. And truly our doors are our hearts. Let us go home and open doors, open doors of frustration. Of people who have no hope, let us open doors and share with them as you have or shared in the streets we have shared and we are knocking at the door if they listen to christ then they will share me so thank you very much we now want to say a prayer and that prayer is coming from christ himself as he rose he appeared before his disciples and he asked them peace be with you i want you to be calm let us be calm now just be calm Stay calm. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you for walking with us, the highways and the byways of this city. We want to thank you for giving us a spirit that we may be with your witnesses and to stand tall to be counted as courageous soldiers 
life of your gospel. May you touch each and every person here present, those who have come from far and from near. Walk with us back home and let your spirit that gave the disciples affirmation of that you have risen be the spirit that will affirm us as we go home and protect us and let us listen to you as you speak to us the peace be with you may the lord bless you all in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. go now and go gently amen Thank you so much, my Lord Bishop. All right, thank you so much, your girl. You are now dismissed. We we'll can say thank you to each and every person, every group that came here. We know some traveled all the way from Embu. Life runners traveled all the way from Embu. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, the co-sponsor, the co-host, the those people who mobilized people to come here. Kenya Christian Professionals Forum, uh, Pals and Treasures, Citizen Go. Catholic University of Eastern Africa, University of Nairobi Pro-Life, FACITAM, NPC, Kenya Assemblies of God, everybody, uh, Sozo Church of God,